Okay, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining me for today's Body, wit, body Weight Hit. My name is Kendall with TC Fit. Let's bring it back to our workout space. We're gonna start with a four minute warm up. So let's get hit play here on our timer. Okay, we're gonna start with some knee hugs. So alternating knee to the chest, little tug at the top, and then same thing, other side. So alternating legs. We're gonna do a little bit of a longer warm up this morning. Again, just to get the body moving, the body, the blood flowing a little bit more. Activating your hamstrings, your hips. So you should feel a nice stretch with this. So this is a dynamic stretch. This morning's workout, um, as far as your exercises, it's a little bit simpler, not as complicated. We only have six exercises today. We're gonna run down a list. So we have two circuits, three exercises in each, one minute, 45 seconds, and 30 seconds. 20 second break in between. One more each. And bring it to the edge of your mat. I'm not using one just because I'm on cushioned carpet. Rolling it down, walk it out to your plank. Squeeze your glutes here, hike your hips back up, walk it in and stand it up. And again, hinging forward. Walk it out to your plank, hike your hips, Squeeze your glutes to return. Keep it going, you can go at your own pace. And squeeze. Getting back up, let's do two more. And last one. Find your plank, hold it here. Knead your glutes, draw your belly button in toward your spine. Shoulders over your hands. One long line. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Last five, four, three, two, one. Walk it back in and stand it back up. I'm gonna have you drop it down to your right knee. Left leg forward. You're gonna lunge it forward and press it back. Lunge forward, press it back. Again, opening up your hips here. Last one. Bring it out to a 45 degree angle, same thing. Again, getting a nice hip opener. You'll feel a stretch through your groin. Let's do two more. We'll do the other side. Last one. And switch, left knee down. Right foot forward. Little lunge. Good. Especially doing these early morning workouts, you may feel a little bit tighter in the morning. Make sure you have at least a little snack before exercising. And a hard boiled egg. And bring it out to a 45 degree angle. And lunge. So our first exercise for today is high knees for one minute. So we have a lot of cardio. Last one. Good. And stand it back up. We're gonna do little ankle pumps until our time begins. We have about 20 more seconds. We're doing a little bit more plyometrics this morning, warming up your ankles and your feet. So keep it going on your end. Our first exercise, high knees for one minute. Here we go in five, four, three, two. Here we go. Let's go into our workout. One minute here. Another option, stepping into place. You can also get more of your arms involved as well. We have a 20 second break in between each exercise. It's a little bit more of a higher intensity this morning. Another option, sidestepping. Feel like your heart rate is getting up too high. A couple of options here for you. Starting out strong. 20 seconds. 20 second break. 
those knees up high. Almost there, five seconds. Three, two, one, and break. Second exercise. Hover plank jumps. Three points. One, center to the side. Okay, side, center, side. Okay, about five seconds. Okay, down to the ground. This is for 45 seconds. Here we go. Side, center, side. Another option, step in. You want to keep your knees covered off the ground super low. Just break your knees to your ear here for 45 seconds. Good break. Shoulders over your hands. Another option is you just hold it. Doing great, doing great. 10 seconds left, keep it up. We're going to jack squats next. Five, three, two, and one. Bring it back up. Third exercise, jack squats. Those are three exercises. We do it three times. 10 seconds. In five, three, two, all right, let's go. 30 seconds here. Another option, step it out. Light on your toes, hinging from your hips. Back stays long. 10. Think your hips back. Five. And break, 20 seconds off. Okay, we go on to round number two. How are we doing so far? Starting out strong with your cardio. High knees. In five. Three, two, one. Let's go for round two. Another thing that you can do, instead of staying in place, Kind of jog around your space. Helps to make the time go by a little bit faster. Definitely a little bit more of a winded workout this morning. Next up, hover plank jumps. Three point. 20 seconds, keep it up. You have a 20 second break. Speed, go. 10, almost there. Five, three, two, one, and break. Whew. We're bringing down to the ground, three point jumps. Allow the heart rate to come back down before Bring yourself down to the ground. Start to get into place. Five seconds. Here we go in three, two. All right, 45 seconds here. Now you wanna try and make those jumps as minimal as you can as far as the height of the jumps. Keep it low. Shoulders over your hands. Belly button in toward your spine. We only have to do this one more time. 15 seconds. Keep it up, last 10, last 10, go, go, go. Jack squats are next. In five, four, three, two, one, and break. 20 seconds off. Keep it moving around. This is your transition period. Grab a drink of water if you need to. Jack squats. In five, three, two, here we go. Now remember your modifications for this. You can always do stepping, side to side squats.
These are meant to be difficult exercises. 10. Keep it up. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Break. Oh. Round three. Then we move on to the second circuit. Bring it back down. And sidestep. High knees. In three, two, and one. Third round is meant to be the hardest. And we move on. Doing great. And you can do also do a little pump with the ankles. So getting your speed. It's always options. Thirty seconds. Halfway there, and we're done with your high knees. Fifteen. Then we break. Ten. Keep it up. Last five. Three, two, one, and break. Awesome job. We're not doing those again. We are done. Okay. Bring it down to the ground. Hover plank jumps. Last set of these. Five seconds. In three, two, one, here we go. These are deceivingly hard. You're gonna feel it's burning in your quads, okay? You think it would be more a little bit, a little bit more shoulders, quads. So you need to bend to that 90 degree angle. 20 seconds home stretch. Ten seconds, keep it up. Almost there, almost there, push it out. Push, push, push. Three, two, one, and break. Nicely done, 20 seconds off. Jack squats are next. And we're moving on. We still only have 20 second break, however. Okay, here we go in five, three, two. Last set of these, here we go. Think it low, burn out your legs. Bring your legs in quick together and back out quick. Use those inner thighs as your adductors. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Whew. Done with the first circuit. Now, first exercise of your second circuit. Reverse lunge, side squat together, other side. Bring out your legs. Five seconds. Quick transitions. Three, two, here we go. Reverse lunge, side squat together, other side. Now, as far as cardio, use this time to control your breathing. Okay, try it. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Great. Going into more of a cardio drill after this. Doing your controlled breathing. 10 seconds. Keep it going on your end. Second exercise. Nike shuffle. And break. So your Nike shuffle. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Your arms working. 
10 seconds. Move it around. Back. Three, two. Let's go, everyone. One, two, three. One, two, three. Fast feet. 45 seconds. left. And you can always make this a little bit smaller. A little shuffle. 10. And I'll introduce the last exercise. And break. Last exercise. Four front kicks. There's four. Four jumping squats or regular squats, okay? 10 seconds. Four front kicks, four jumping squats. Three, two, all right, let's go. There's one, two, three, four. Four jumping squats. And again, 30 seconds. An option, body weight squats. Bring it at your own pace, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. There's round one. Here are your three exercises. We start back up, reverse, side squat, and grab a drink of water. Always make sure you have water with you. All right, here we go, reverse lunge. Side squat. Get low into your lunge. Keep your weight even through both legs, especially when you do your side squat. Do whatever comes natural with your arms. We're almost there. 15, almost 15 seconds. Keep your abdomen strong. Belly button toward that spine. Five seconds left. and break 20 seconds off. So less cardio on that first exercise. Nike shuffle is next. 10 seconds. You're going everywhere. Frizz. Five seconds. Three, two, let's go. Nike shuffle. One, two, three. One, two, three. Again, another option, full side shuffle. And with these early morning workouts, you start to feel lightheaded at all. Take a break, keep walking around, take a seat if you need to. Especially if you're not used to working out this early. And one, whew, and break. Last exercise, four high kicks, four jumping squats. We do it one more time. We're gonna end with some core this morning. Burn out your abs. Okay, three, two, one, four high kicks, four jumping squats, or body weight squats. 30 seconds here. Three, two, one, 
handbrake. Awesome job. We have one more circuit, one more round. Five seconds left. Do you hate me yet? It's all right if you do. Good job. Okay, here we go. Reverse side together. I often get clients saying, why do I pay you to torture me? I really keep coming back. Exercise feels good. Personally, for me, it's a little therapeutic. Sweating just feels good. And the perk of doing it this early, you're done. You don't have to think about it the rest of the day. It's an awesome feeling. 20 seconds left. Nike shuffle. Can do whatever keeps you motivated. All right, think five seconds. Three, two, and one. Break. Ooh. Doing great, everyone. <sighs> Ten seconds left. Nike shuffle. The last round. Three, two, and one. Let's go. A 20 second break goes by fast. When you're working, 20 seconds goes by slow. Almost there. We're almost done with that hard hitting part of our work hit, workout. 20 seconds. And we end the core. Keep it up. Push. 10 seconds left. You feel like you don't have any more. You can push it a little bit harder. Three, two, one. Ooh. Four front kicks. Four jumping squats. Ooh, let's go. We're almost there. Breathing. Five seconds. All right. Last exercise. Here we go. Four front kicks. Four jumping squats. Four body weight squats. Now, as you start to get tired, Try not to get sloppy. Don't so think about form, keep everything tight. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Whew. Nice work, everyone. If you don't have a mat out, go ahead and grab one right now. Walking around. I'm gonna give you about 40 seconds. Pull the heart rate back down. Keep breathing. And we'll bring it down to the ground. Ooh. Awesome job, everyone. You're done with the really hard part. About 20 seconds, I'm just gonna angle my camera down a little bit more. Whew. Start to take a seat onto the ground. Ooh. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have you lie down onto your back. Bring your legs up to a tabletop position. We have dead bug. Opposite arm and leg, spine is imprinted. Send your left leg long, right arm comes up by the ear. Bring your back center, other side. Right leg, left arm, and return. Keep alternating. Inhale, send it long, exhale, return. Again, it's opposite arm as leg. Opposite arm as leg. Body is imprinted. I'm gonna stay here for another 15 seconds. We're going to roll up. Great. 
Pinch out one more. Send your legs long, arms up by the ears. Roll it up, one vertebrae at a time. Pushing over the toes. Roll it all the way back down. Pull on the control. Flexing forward. All the way up to a seated position. Roll it away. Modification for this. Roll it halfway back. Another option. Flexion forward for your crunch and down. Do what's best for your body. As you roll back down, pull your belly button in toward the spine. Control, find your imprint. And then back down to that supine position. Finish out one more. Roll it up. Roll it all the way back down. From here, right leg, left arm, flex it forward and reach up to the toes. And either place the hand back behind the head or down to the ground. One more and switch. Other side. Two more. Last one. Bicycle crunch. Home stretch here, last 20 seconds. Then we'll stretch. 15. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release. You are done. Bring the bottoms of the feet together. Allow the knees to open out to a butterfly position. Arms out to a T. Palms and hands facing up toward the ceiling. Just opening out the hips, opening the shoulders. Deep breath here, take a deep inhale. And exhale through the mouth. And again, deep inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and gently bring the knees back together. Roll it up to a seated position. Bring your right knee down, left foot forward. Same exercise we started with. Lunge it forward and then press it back. Lunge forward and press it back. And do two more. Opening up your hip, your psoas muscle. And let's do one more. And bring it out to your diagonal. So this exercise may be a little bit easier, meaning you may feel a little bit more flexible, your muscles are warm, you're able to go a little bit further. Two more. Last one. And let's do the other side. Left knee down, right foot forward. And lunge. Nice work today, everyone. I always tell people the hardest part is showing up. To keep sleeping. Last one. And out to your 45 degrees. Bunge, press it back. Like I said before, you don't have to worry about your workout for the rest of the day. You want to Two more. Keep walking. Get your steps in. Good. Let's bring it up to both feet. You're just going to dead hang over your legs, touching your hamstrings. Bring your hands up to your thighs, up to an extension, lower back down. Slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time, Has the last to reach hard. And lastly, place the hands back behind the head, draw the elbows wide, nod your chin toward your chest. I'm just kneeling down so you can see me since I moved my camera. And return and release your arms. Nice work today, everyone. It's so great to see you this early in the morning, as always. Tomorrow we have Matt Pilates at 10 a.m. with myself, and then we have a 12 o'clock Q&A um, talking about common 
um, aches and pains in the body, okay? So think of any questions that you may have, you can send it to us, fitness.center at gemmills.com, or you can type it into the chat when you show up tomorrow for the Q&A. All right, enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you tomorrow.